Let's be honest, film? It's expensive, but there is something about film that digital photography struggles to evoke. Even with the development of digital cameras and the conveniences that come with that evolution, people are still shooting film. I've attempted recreating the film look in my digital work countless times with little to no success. And that's where Dehancer comes into the picture. Dehancer is an editing plugin intended to emulate different film stocks and other effects. They recently reached out to me, and in exchange for testing out their software, they provided it to me free of charge. What? Am I going to say no to free stuff? Once they hooked me up with the plugin, I was throwing photo upon photo into it to see what it was capable of. Now, I thought I could make some run-of-the-mill review and throw in a bunch of photos I've already taken and go over the different components of the software and how it works, screen capping everything and talking about all the little details, but the idea of creating videos like that bores me. So I decided what a perfect opportunity to do a photo shoot with Dehancer in mind. So uh, Discover Columbia in Columbia, Pennsylvania is allowing us to use uh, this beautiful home to shoot in today. It's a Civil War era mansion, and um, yeah, I'm excited to see what we can make of this. When I was first thinking of the concept for this shoot, location was Otherwise, first priority. I wanted something with charm, rooms with pops of color I could play off in the edits, and Freedom Home fell directly into my lap. I don't normally curate shoots, and someone who procrastinates a bit, I found myself scrounging space, for like props, wardrobe, and other kitchen. practical effects fairly last minute. Running through the house and improv a lot of the shoot along the way, I wasn't concerned with walking away with a large gallery of photos, but at least one or two usable photos from each setting we shot in. <laughs> I'm literally in the first test shot. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and... Oh, wow, look at this little doorbell. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I, I don't know. <laughs> Wow. Oh wait, hold on. I didn't even... I know that you're like in charge of the shoot, but I had an idea. She's in charge, let's not oh, this Opening camera. the armoire and hanging some of the You're in the shot, so when I actually, <laughs> yeah. You, man, how did I do that last time? I really liked the way that looked. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Shoot past her and then you could see like fabric or like whatever it is in the background like okay. back like almost like further away where it's like yeah, as we progress through the rooms it starts to get closer to her like you said yeah can you breathe yeah <laughs> playing off my team and bouncing ideas off each other in the moment still ended up being a fun challenge there's truth to the statement if you fail to plan you plan to fail but i also find that a lot of the time i personally work well under pressure and realistically, a lack of pressure tends to keep me from taking action in the first place. I'm not sure how my team felt about that, but I'm grateful they could adapt to my sporadic, run-and-gun, off-the-cuff self. It depends. I do find Dehancer to be an amazing piece of software that you can get some really cool results out of. I did find that doing some adjustments in Lightroom first, depending on the photo, will help you get better results. It's fairly intuitive and requires little to no learning curve in figuring out how the different components affect your photos. That being said, it is really easy to overdo it, so be conservative with the effects you do apply. Speaking of, I found the included presets to be a little overdone for my taste, and for the most part, just used the film stocks and started each photo from scratch to get the desired look I was going for. I found the grain to be a lot more pleasant than what you would get using Lightroom and gives you a lot more flexibility in how you apply it. The halation is also similar in application, but I wish there was a way to mask the image 
so that you could target specific parts of the image and leave out the parts you don't want affected. Outside of that, the only upgrade I could think to suggest would be the ability to batch edit. Currently, you're only able to edit a single photo at a time, so if you wanted to use this as a part of a larger project, it would take way too long for it to become a practical addition to your workflow. They also have an iOS version available, which I think I would find myself using more than the Lightroom plugin for quick on-the-go edits for things like Instagram stories or quick social posts. It also includes the ability to edit video as well, which again, I think is great for those quick social uploads. So until they implement the ability to batch edit, I'd personally use the mobile app more. If you're interested in trying out Dehancer, they do offer a free two-week trial. Figured I'd put that out there before this next bit. Along with giving me the software, they did give me a promo code that gives you 10% off your purchase if you use the code TOFER at checkout or just start making videos like this and maybe you get it for free. Who knows? Using the promo code does help me out, but I'm not gonna act like there aren't better options for the everyday person. I do think Dehancer is useful in certain applications. So, I mean, even if you had like a project in mind, just time the free trial with like when you'll be editing that project. With that said, I do want to thank everybody that helped me out the day of that shoot. It was kind of a mess. So thank you so much. Um, thanks for Vicious Circle for providing the wardrobe and thanks Discover Columbia for providing the space. If you're interested in seeing more of the photos from this shoot, follow me on Instagram. I'll probably be posting them on there. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, help support the channel. And I'll see you in whatever the next piece of nonsense I decide to make is. So thanks for watching. Um, oh, we're recording, we're recording, we're recording, we're live. Oh, nope, 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 we're live, we're alive, we don't wanna be there. Get my notes up, let me bring the, vol the volume down, the brightness down perhaps, probably a better term.